What if I told you, you could go ahead and create and deploy a custom AI agent or a AI teammate to your entire Teams, Slack, Microsoft Teams, HubSpot or Discord in less than 10 minutes and that too without writing a single line of code. And now what if this AI agent could go ahead and instantly answer any questions by referring to your company's documentation, integrating with your APIs, connecting with external services via MCP and even has internet access for real-time information. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. So basically, we'll go ahead and create our AI agent trained on our custom data, has internet access and is capable enough to connect with external services via MCP and once configured, we can add the same into let's say Slack or Teams and ask any questions right from Slack. And the best part, you can even go ahead and configure the AI agent to use pretty much any state-of-the-art AI models from OpenAI, Anthropic and Google. Sounds interesting, right? Well, today in this video, I'll show you how we can create AI agents using RunBear, configure MCP and add the same to let's say Teams, Slack, Discord, etc. without any coding skills. So let's quickly get started. All right. So this right here is RunBear and this is the platform that we will use to create AI agents and add the same into Slack, Teams or HubSpot. So the first thing that you got to do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to RunBear and you can go ahead and sign up for a new account. And as you can see, it says DIY AI agents for your team. Enable your teams to create AI agents for Slack, Teams, HubSpot and more. And more importantly, no coding required. So first thing first, head over to this link and sign up for a new account and log into the same. And once you log in, this is going to be the kind of dashboard that you'll be taken to. So up to the top, it says Slack AI assistant with MCP. So as I mentioned earlier, the AI agents that you create using RunBear now supports MCP. That means you can let your AI assistant connect with over 2500 plus different variety of third party services and tools and that too in just a single click. And best of all, you don't need any coding knowledge. So to quickly create our AI assistant, the first thing that I'll do is click on this option that says create. And now it will take me to this assistant space right here. And here I can go ahead and configure and create the AI assistant. First of all, if you want to, you can click this option right here and go ahead and select the specific AI model that your AI agent has to use. For example, here we have Anthropic, OpenAI, Perplexity and Google Gemini. So for this one, I'll keep it as Anthropic Cloud and it is also the recommended one. So I'll collapse this one. And next step, I gotta go ahead and give my assistant a name. So in this case, I'll give some random name, just helper pro in this case. And now what exactly is the assistant or let's say the AI agent that I'm about to create do? Well, I want to create a AI agent that can do deep research for me. So basically the plan is that I'll go ahead and integrate this AI agent to use the Firecloud MCP and whenever I invoke and ask some question to this let's say AI agent that I'm about to create it will use Firecrawl under the hood to do the research and find all the relevant data that I need and it will nicely display all of that for me. And if you scroll down you will find an option called a system prompt and this is where you go ahead and give detailed instructions as to how the AI agent should respond what are the things to keep in mind and I mean you can go ahead and give a small description the chain of thought the tone the input guardrails the output guardrails and also go ahead and give some examples in here so if you go ahead and give a very optimized system prompt in here your AI agent will perform very good so what you have to do is this right here is actually a sample or let's say a demo of the description that or let's say a system prompt that you'll have to give so all you got to do is to replace all these content in the description section uh, the chain of thought process section and all that okay so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and use chat gpt to create a system prompt for this one and now i quickly went ahead and opened chat gpt and gave all the requirements and it has created the system prompt that i could give so i'll wait for it to complete the same first all right and i'll go ahead and copy the same and head back and replace it in here and this right here is the customized system prompt and it says you are a professional research assistant your job is to perform high quality external research based on user's query. You search public sources such as the web, documentation, academic papers and news to gather accurate, relevant and up-to-date information. Your response should be synthesized, clearly written and include source citations when appropriate. And they also went ahead and gave some chain of thought, the tone, input guardrails, output guardrails, examples and all that. Okay. And next up, if you click on this drop down menu right here, you can go ahead and select the specific AI model that you want to use. So in this case, I'll use Cloud for Sonnet and RunBear also give you the option to add your own Anthropic API key. So if that's what you prefer, you can go ahead and put your API key and use it that way. And next up, we can go ahead and enhance the knowledge of the assistant with real time knowledge from external sources. So for example, let's say you have custom PDF files or some other data or some files or documents in Google Drive, Confluence, Notion or Slack. You can simply go ahead and add the same. You can even go ahead and link your website by clicking on this website button right here. 
since our primary focus is on using MCP, for now I'll leave it as it is. But in your case, if you want the AI agent to refer to some, let's say, documents that you have, you can go ahead and upload it in here. And now if I scroll down, I'll find another option called as integration. And here it says connect to external services in real time with MCP, expanding what's possible. And now this is single-handedly the most important feature of Runbear and the one that I'm personally so excited about. So the thing is, you can actually go ahead and integrate this AI agent that you're about to create with over 2,500 plus different third-party services. For example, here you can find Notion, Google Sheets, Telegram, Google Drive, Pinterest, Google Calendar, Shopify, Superbase, Postgres, SQL, AWS, you name it. So you can go ahead and literally configure it in just a single click. And in this case, we want to do some research and obviously we want to configure the Firecrawl MCP server. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and search for Firecrawl. All right, so there you go. This right here is the Firecrawl MCP server. And all I gotta do is to click on this button right here. And first of all, you need to select an authorization method. So you have two options. That is per user and shared. So per user means the user will have to connect their own account in order to be able to use this uh, Firecrawl MCP. Or if you go ahead and put it on the shared mode, you can go ahead and give the credential to the Firecrawl MCP server and configure it. And everyone within that channel will be able to use it based on the credentials that you already gave. So in this case, I'll put it as shared. So depending on your circumstances or scenario, you can go ahead and select it. And now as I scroll down, I can go ahead and find all these like the option to search, scrape page, extract data, crawl data. These are all the tools that are available within Firecrawl. So I can click on connect and add server. And now it opens up this pop-up and I can click on this continue button. And now all I gotta do is to grab my Firecrawl API key and add the same in here. So I'll head over to this link right here and it will open a Firecrawl. I'll quickly go ahead and log into my account. I'm now logged in and I'll quickly go ahead and copy this API key, head back to Runbear and paste the same in here and click continue. And by the way, this integration is actually powered by Pipedream and it says successfully connected your Firecrawl account and I can click on continue. And just like that, I have configured my AI agent to use Firecrawl. And next up, if you want your AI agent to connect to multiple external services, you have options for that too. You can go ahead and configure any number of MCP tool just like this. So for example, let's say you want to connect to Notion. You simply click on this option right here, select the authorization method, and you can add the server, drop in the API key, and you should be sorted. And in this case, I'm only adding the Firecrawl MCP server. And if you want to, you can come back anytime and edit any settings and do all that changes. And now I'll scroll down and I'll click on this create option. All right, so it says assistant created. And next up, you gotta go ahead and choose a platform where you want to add your AI assistant. So here you have a couple of options like Slack, Discord, Microsoft Teams, HubSpot, and Sendus. So in this case, I'll go ahead and show you how to do the same in Slack, but the process is almost similar for Discord, Teams, and HubSpot as well. So I'll click on Slack. And next step, I can enable this option here. And next step, I need to click on this drop down menu right here and click on this option that says add new configuration token. And it will open up this page right here. And now I'll go ahead and click on this button right here and it should open up Slack. And next step, I'll click on this option called as generate token and I'll select the workspace and I'll click on generate. And now it will give me a token. So I'll copy the refresh token just like that. And now I'll go ahead and paste the same in here and click on add. All right, so as you can see, I can find my organization in here that is Astro. So I have configured the same and now I'll click on this create button right here. All right, so it will now open this authorization flow and all I got to do is to click on this allow button. Okay, so it says integration complete and that should be it. Right now, I have added this helper pro AI assistant that I created to my Slack organization and now I can start using it right away. All right, so right now I'm logged into Slack and towards the bottom, I can find the new helper pro AI assistant that I created. So I can click on that one. And as you can see, you can find all this information, okay? And next up, to use this AI assistant in any channel, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and maybe create a new channel. And okay, I'll create a blank channel and give it a name, let's say demo. Uh, okay, public and I'll create. I'll skip for now. And next step to use the helper pro AI assistant that we created, all I gotta do is to put the at the rate symbol in here. And now I can select the helper pro uh, AI assistant that I created. And now I can go ahead and ask any question. But before that first time, I'll go ahead and put a hi. And now it will show me a message saying you mentioned helper pro, but they are not included in this channel. So all I gotta do is to click on add them button right here. Okay. And now the AI agent that we added is now active. And as you can see, if you see this, you know, I button, it means the AI agent has replied 
and if i click on this one reply option right here it says hello nice to meet you i'm here to help you with your research task analysis and find information from public sources so what i'll do is i'll head over to the input box right here and i'll go ahead and mention helper pro again and now i can go ahead and ask a question so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and say can you please refer to and then paste a link in here and summarize all the key points and main data and now we'll go ahead and hit enter and let's wait so basically this is an article about let's say comparing the performance of various ai models and now if i click on this one reply button right here as you can see it is finding all the important data from the article and again this writer is the link that i gave to the ai and to be honest there's a lot of stuff happening in here and i just want the main points I want the AI to do it for me, like use run it and find all the important information and summarize it. And there you go. Based on the data from the artificial analysis website, here's a comprehensive summary of the key points and main data about AI model performance. So intelligence quality ranking. So the top performers are OpenAI's O3 Pro, Gemini 2.5 Pro, then speed, latency. I mean, we have all this information summarized. And under the hood, the AI agent actually used Firecrawl to scrape the content of the page and used LLM that we configured to go through the entire content and find all the key information and has summarized everything neatly in here. And next up, let's just go ahead and ask a different question. So I can mention helper pro again. And this time around, I'll go ahead and say, can you please write a short article on the state of AI in 2025 by referring to the internet and I'll hit enter and let's see. All right, so there you go. The AI has went ahead and created an extensive article about the state of AI in 2025. In a similar fashion, you can go ahead and ask any question and the AI agent will use the Firecrawl MCP service under the hood and do the task that you ask for. And if I head back to Runbear and if I select the Helper Pro Assistant, I can now go ahead and change any aspect and configure or let's say customize the AI agent in any way I want. For example, I could change the assistant name. I could make changes to the system prompt. I can go ahead and add additional knowledge sources, change the model and integrate and add even more MCP tools. And if you want to, you can also go ahead and test your AI agent within the playground. And if I go to the channel section, I can go ahead and configure how the AI agent should behave and I can view the analytics and also all the threads as well. Okay. So that is how simple it is. And in a similar fashion, you can go ahead and create multiple AI agents for various different tasks and add the same to your teams, Slack or Microsoft Teams, and then start using it right within Slack itself. Okay. So you don't have to leave the platform. Everything happens right within Slack. And next up, if you head over to the Runbear use cases page right here, you'll be able to find a bunch of these real world use cases as to how you can integrate the AI agent created using Runbear with various third party, you know, services and tools like Claude, Airtable, let's say, Google Calendar, Google Drive, Notion, etc. And you can create a customized workflow and integrate the same into Slack or wherever your team's workspaces. Okay. So that is the whole point. The key here is that now that the Runbear AI agents can access third party services via MCP, your AI agents can integrate well with over 2,500 plus different variety of third party services and you can use them right from Slack. Think about it, how easy it is, right? So you don't have to leave Slack. Everything happens right within Slack. And now that is how simple it is. I know configuring and creating a AI assistant is very simple. So you go ahead and click on this add assistant button, click on this option right here, give all this information and you can have your AI agent up and running in less than 10 minutes. So that's how simple it is. And now all you got to do is to head over to the first link in the description below, head over to Runbear, sign up for a new account and you can to go ahead and create an AI agent and add the same into Slack, Teams or Discord and start using it right away. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.